Hey guys, I'm LB. Let's play the Talos Principle. I think last episode we were trying to solve this puzzle. Let's see if we can accomplish that goal. Put that there. Take that. Good. Okay, that's the first part. And this part I hate. Actually, no, we need to do that. Take that. Oh, no, actually, we want it to be a bit further in this direction. As soon as this guy bounces against the wall, we want to jam it, and then jam him. Quickly run in here, run out! <laughs> oh my goodness, we did that. We just did that. Okay, so now we just get out the same way we came in. Yes, we are out! <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh. That was insanity. Oops, come on. Okay, what does this say? This whole world is a desert. Even the parts that look alive are just more sand. Everything is dead or dying. Anyone who tells you different is lying. Okay. So, I have both of these, so I can do what I need to do. Wait, what? Huh? How do I... Oh, this one has a switch? Huh? Am I able to sneak under it? Please, tell me. Holy crap, I did not know I could do that. <sighs> I did it! Alright. Now just get out of here. That was tough. Hey, look what I see. Is it still the same messages, though? Um... Let's try that. <laughs> so, if anybody on my friends list ever plays this game now, they might see that message when they complete this puzzle. Okay... I think we'll go here first. This is a laser puzzle, just doors and windows. Speaking of Windows, I recently had to reinstall Windows 10 on my mom's computer. 
It had upgraded from Windows 7, and apparently was not very stable as a result. The start menu would only work sometimes, and so we just gave up and decided to reinstall. Uh, oh. Well, there's that at least. That's something, right? Please tell me there's no robots, because I do not like the robots. <laughs> huh? Uh, excuse me? What exactly am I supposed to... pull off here? That's right there! Uh, I'm an idiot. Okay, we got this now. Plunk. Plunk. Alright. the best angle we're gonna get, though. What do we have going on here? Looks like it's on to the final challenge here. Crisscross conundrum. More like a Chris Rock conundrum. Oh, I remember these. Was there? Hey. Duh! Jumped right over it. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a lot of connectors! Okay, so... Let's establish a task we would like to accomplish. Which is... Actually, that's pretty simple. Is that really that simple? 
This is, I feel like these two puzzles were much easier than that robot maze one. No messages for me? Yeah, there's not even a star here. Interesting. Is there a seven? I think there was, right? Yeah, here it is. And we can actually do it. It's got two stars, apparently. When you overcome one of my trials, do you not feel the pleasure of having discovered the proper order of things? That is the spark of Elohim within you, to create order from chaos. And therein is revealed the true meaning of our sigils. I have found just one voice of reason in the computer archive of all places, and it seems we are becoming close friends. Do not befriend the serpent, for it will penetrate your breast and sow its seed of doubt. There is no hope. Always boxed in, walls everywhere, even where there seems to be freedom, it is false. Invisible walls, no way out. Who invited this guy? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Chat log. 9787. So, I think, what's the point, right? Yeah, I keep thinking about my aunt. Have I told you about her? I don't think so. She's super rich. Like, she drives around in a ridiculously expensive sports car, and she goes on vacations to the Bahamas. And she has a huge house that feels more like some sort of corporate headquarters than a home. She worked really hard to get all that, but she also screwed over a lot of people, including her own family. I used to be quite angry at her for what she did to my parents, but now I think, what did she get out of it? She and her husband are always fighting, their son became so obsessed with money that he ruined his own family. I mean, yeah, they have everything that I always dreamed about, but they can't enjoy any of it. My grandfather was like that. And now, at the end, what does any of it mean? If you have all the money in the world, but you die alone and unloved, what did you accomplish? I don't get it. I just don't. Yeah. Money is a means, not an end. Hi folks. I'm sorry to say that a few hours ago I experienced the first symptom. I'm going to work until the end of the week to make sure EL is in perfect condition, but after that I'll be going back home. I'll refrain... I'll remain reachable by email and phone for as long as possible, but I'm confident Satoko can deal with anything that comes up. If you want to do me a huge favor, spare me the drama tomorrow, okay? I love you all, but I don't have the strength for sad smiles and hugs. The best remedy for sorrow is to get the job done. And now for something completely different. Is there like a, a mass epidemic that's killing off the world's population and that's why they're archiving everything? Norwegian Blue. Weird. So, hearing the call of the morning birds as they greeted the dawn, the scribe spoke. At the end of your journey, when every trial has been completed, when all the gates have opened before you and your soul has been weighed in the Tower of Anubis, your Ka and your Ba shall be reunited, and thus you shall become an Ak, and awaken the in the eternal reed fields of Osiris. And there, in Holy Aru, you shall begin a new life amongst the gods and other blessed spirits. And who will I be? the dying man asked. You shall be the memory of all that was, and the knowledge of the journey, and the shape of the days to come. Thus ends the tale of the dying man and the scribe. Praised be Osiris, the foremost of the westerners, the king of eternity, the lord of everlastingness, whose ka is holy, blah.
I see something we can listen to here. The pyramid? Ha! Huh. How do you solve a problem that extends beyond your own lifespan? That question may be the essence of civilization. The only answer I can find is to initiate a process to create an environment in which the solution will occur independently of yourself. But that requires a difficult sacrifice. Letting go of your desire to bear witness, to exist at the center of the cosmos. To participate in the project of civilization is to accept death. Oh, Alex, you're such a fun person. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, there's another one. On the first night, when I knew it was over, I went out to look at the stars. And I thought, somewhere up there are the stations we built, and the probes we sent out. Voyager 1 and 2, beyond the edge of our solar system, continuing their long journey through interstellar space. Like memories of our ambition. Ambassadors who have outlived their homeland. And then I thought, if they still exist, are we really gone? If machines are an extension of the human body, then so long as they continue to function, we're still here. Okay. I think you mean V'ger. Question. Suppose, for sake of argument, all of this is without purpose. The universe is a machine switched on and abandoned long ago. How would I explain what I see? Perhaps you are asking the wrong question? Perhaps you would have no hope of explaining it. Maybe not on my own. Ahem. <laughs> Depends if the machine is iterative in what problem it was built to solve. If you're trying to outsmart the guy in the archive, the answer is none of the above. Okay, let's see how close we can get to that pyramid in the distance before we die. Real quick, I want to check around the corner here. And nothing. Okay. How close can we go? There's a challenge star up there! So it means we can get up here. Mm-hmm... Aha! Well then... Another huge pyramid! What mad ambition it must have taken to build such things. It's just a big pile of rocks. Oh, yep, this is the boundary. Oh, whoa, that- that was... freaky. So, if we ever get an object that can be placed on here, we can get that challenge star. Whoa. Oh. Is that something over there? Let's find out. Oh, no, it's not. All right, well... Wait, what is... Oh, it's just something I could see through a wall, apparently. Okay. Well, that's it for this episode. The next episode, we will actually go into a puzzle, for once. And, uh, try to solve it. So, as always... If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!